Hello and welcome to the Quiver Channel. I am Jason, your host. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. The reason I talk so much about challenges that I face is, well, first of all, it helps me by getting it out there. It helps me deal with it. Instead of trying to deal with it in here, which is a bad thing, I can deal with it out here in space. Now, I could just do these for the people on Discord. I could just do these with, uh, for people on um, in private. Or I could just do it for myself and just never upload them. But there's another massive part of this, and that is how this helps others, inspires others, people who are dealing with problems of their own. If I can reach just a few people in the world, if I can make their day better, if they can watch one of our videos now or in the future and it just resonates with them and helps them to deal with their problems gives them hope that there is a way to deal with it then that's good that's priceless that's worth more than hundreds of thousands of followers it's worth more than money it's worth more than anything to know that something i put out there makes a difference to someone that person could be five thousand miles away and could watch this years in the future when i'm gone but if it makes a difference to him that's an amazing legacy so when i talk about trying to leave the house when i talk about the scooter when i talk about the challenges with using technology as a coping strategy all these things that i talk about it isn't because i'm special it's because I want people to know what I face so that people know that they have a chance. I have said it many, many times, depression breeds loneliness. One of the worst things about depression or all of this kind of thing that makes us different when you're neurodivergent, it isolates us. It disconnects us from the world. And sometimes that's okay. Sometimes not being connected to that crazy, horrible place out there that doesn't make any sense is okay. I mean, think about it. I mean, the amount of lies and horror and nastiness there is in the world the amount of negativity and someone like me once i see it i can't switch it off so everything goes in and i can't delete it sometimes that world is wrong in some ways i think neurodivergent people are some of the most honest people in the world we don't have all this bullshit about society or norms and, oh, you can't say that. We speak our minds. If something doesn't make sense, it bothers us a lot. And we can't move past it. We have to speak out. As a child, we say things without the filters. And in some ways, as an adult, you are always fighting because you're fighting what people expect you to say and what real. This is why I talk about the bad stuff as much as I talk about the good stuff. Yes, it's wonderful that I'm achieving all that, that I'm, I've dealt with all the things I've dealt with. But I always make sure that you know that there's no instant solution it's an on it's not it's not a win it's a battle and you'll win you're fighting each day and sometimes you'll win sometimes you'll lose but there's no there's no end point to it until you pass on to whatever's next and some days some days will be so bad that I don't even have the energy to leave the bed. 
that all my focus and energy has gone on to just surviving another day. That can happen even to me, yes. But most days are better than that. Most days I can. But it doesn't mean the fight isn't there. Self-diagnosing yourself can cause harm. It can. Because you start to look for those signs. When you start reading up about it, you start colouring your life based on that. you got to remember, I was diagnosed very early on and they called it reactive depression. Something's going wrong and you're reacting to it. Reactive depression, but it's such a vague and wrong and thing way to put it. Why? The question should have been, why? We know now that the reason I was depressed wasn't because of my dad dying, although that came to me. It wasn't because my wife died. It wasn't because my wife had cancer. It was because my brain was different. It was because I was facing a world that didn't make sense to my brain. And that was exhausting and depressing and making things worse. I didn't know for so many years that I was bipolar type 2, that my ability to be happy was chemically a challenge. That I would always be more depressed than most people. That I would spend most of my life in a state that I thought was normal, that was normal for me, but was clinical depression to anybody else i am very lucky i have so many friends i have so many people who back me up and support me and help me the only sad thing about all this is the youtube algorithm will never understand me it'll never know who to suggest me to i do videos from electronic cars to scooters to mobility to computer games to technology to vr to i just bounce all over the place all the time and it's just you'll never be um able to say oh yes we can we can send this video to these people <laughs> but it's all good because all it takes is just one person just helping one person matters because when you think about it as a human being as a sentient being on this planet if you can affect even just one person in the world just one person in the world in a positive way then that's a good thing. As far as metrics go, that's a good thing. They're pretty damn kick-ass. So this is Jason for the Quiver Channel. I hope you're all having a splendid first day.